before I let you run and welcome back to another video. Now in this video, I will be talking about the platform Ghost. Now Ghost is a open source alternative to something like WordPress. Now WordPress, as you know it, is a pretty good service that you can host yourself as well. And there are paid services, just the same as Ghost, for hosting your own website, especially when it comes to blogs. Now the reason I do want to cover Ghost is because again, it is a fantastic self-hosted service that you can run yourself and it's all open source. Um, and that's why it's getting a video on my channel and not WordPress. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to get your own Ghost Docker container running. So yes, we will, we will be running this in Docker. If you are on Windows and you're curious on how to get Docker up and running, uh, I've got a video I'll link in the top right hand corner on how to set up uh, Docker and WSL, which is uh, the Linux subsystem on your computer. So you can get all ready to follow these sort of videos. So first off, what I'm going to do is kind of show you what Ghost looks like in terms of the platform. And I'll show you some of the customer websites that Ghost have as a reference. And then I'll show you how to the layout of what to expect when we get set up with Ghost and how to then set it up. So first off, let's have a look at some customers that use Ghost. And as you know, you've probably heard of Duolingo. So Duolingo is one customer that uses the Ghost software to host their website and as you can see it looks very nice so we can go up to the Duolingo blog and you can see all their posts and stuff like this and you can make your own themes and everything so really gorgeous site to use as an example then again most people will know uh, DuckDuckGo uh, they have they host their blog using the Ghost platform as well so if we jump into something and just have a look at the layouts of the blog post you know we can set all of this up ourselves as well and then what we're looking at here is kind of the site that you will have after you've set your Docker container up for the very first time, your Ghost Docker container. And the great thing is if we come into here, we can just go into Ghost, which then brings us into the admin portal. And then, for example, just to show you how easy it is to customize things, we can go into posts and then say the start here for quick overview. Let's edit this and just go test, hello, whatever, right? I'll zoom in a bit so you can see. Hit update. I'll update that and now we can go back to the dashboard i'll zoom out a little bit now view the site and now we can see that you know we've made our changes straight away so that's how easy ghost is to make posts and stuff like that i'll get more into detail on the things you can actually customize in your uh, ghost blog once you've set it up but first let's actually tell you how to get this all set up now so what you want to do is go and connect into your server that you will be installing ghost on so what i actually have at the moment is i'm connected to the to my raspberry pi and this is where i'll be installing ghost so the command we're running is actually really simple let me just show you on screen so as you can see here all we're going to be doing is running a simple docker command so the command that we're running is just docker run and then we're naming our docker container ghost and then we're saying the url that we'll be running the server on and this here actually sets all the url links within your website so it, if you're just running this internal what i have here is the ip address of the server the internal ip address so this works for local testing but if i were to expose this on the internet it wouldn't really work i would have to change that to my actual domain name that i'm hosting my website on yeah so that's why i have the url here set to the internal ip address just because i'm testing and if i were to serve this i would probably change it to like blog.techdocs.nz or something like that and then i've got here is the hyphen p um, i'm hosting this on port 80 so i can access this on port 80 on my internal network and 2368 is the port within the docker container that has been exposed onto port 80 so we can access it if this doesn't make too much sense that's okay i just like to explain kind of the command that you will be running we are then attaching a volume so that what we're doing is within our ghost web server we are saying that this directory here home pi ghost blog will be where the container can store its database and its settings and all of that on my raspberry pi just so that if we need to make any changes and stuff like that we can do it without accessing the container, which is best practice. And also it allows us to then back up our blog. Um, and then if we want to restore it, it's just running this command again, pointing to the location where our ghost files are and bam, we're back up to where we were. I will, I will show you what the folder directory looks like once this all set up as well. And then on the last part here, it's just saying that we'll be using the ghost Alpine Docker image. So you've probably already figured out what we need to do first off 
is actually make this directory okay now making this directory is easy all we need to do is go into um you know our user directory and then create a folder called ghost and then a folder well a sub directory called blog now you can create this directory where you would like to like where you prefer if you've got like an external hard drive or something plugged into your server or a dedicated spot you install stuff feel free to put it in there i am just putting mine on within my user folder on my raspberry pi but again feel free to put yours where it seems practical for you so all i'm going to do is do a make directory and i will say ghost and then what i'll do is make another directory called ghost and within there i will make one called blog so now when i change directory into ghost and i'm doing ls i now have a blog folder so what that means is if i do change directory into blog and then print the working directory you can now see that this here matches the directory that i'm going to be using to map to my docker volume and that's it now all I have to do is just let's just clear the screen a bit now grabbing that command so all I have to do now is just confirming that yes this now exists what I can do is hit enter and this will then pull down that docker container image and now I have a ghost instance running on the URL that I have specified here again this is going to work for an internal IP address but if you are doing it for a external this would have to be a domain name or something like that well let's go check and see if our server's up so here I am on my server let's hit f5 refresh the page and see if we get our thing there we go what i'll do I'll, I'll keep the url bar up here so you can see where we're at but that's essentially how quick it was to get a ghost uh server up and running so now all i'd have to do now is if i put a slash here and go to ghost and hit enter what you can do now is that this is where you set up your admin account so if we click here for create your account give our site a title i'll just call this tech docs youtube full name nick put my email address and we'll make a password now remember since this is an admin account make your password very secure okay uh, don't just put anything password one two three if you're going to use this and it's going to be publicly publicly exposed make sure that password is very secure next step what we can do now is invite other users that you know say if you've got other people that might be writing blog posts with you or site admins or whatever like that you could send uh, them an email um but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to say, I'll do this later. Take me to my site. And bam, now we are in control of our website. So let's have a look at what we have here. So at the top here, we have a dashboard, which again, you can see here. Generally, what these dashboards offer you at the start is kind of just like a setup process. As you can see here, it's got, you know, we can create our first member um, or publish a post, stuff like that. And we can also customize our site design. And here, it's just like a little process of setting up the brand, you know, your theming. And then again, you can see any extra features and just, a helping hand that ghost offers maybe some examples we'll get back to the theming and stuff in a bit but then here view site so we can view our website via in the uh, via the admin panel so as we make changes we can constantly make sure that everything is all up to scratch if we go into posts we can see all our current posts and then on the plus if we wanted to create a new one we could now begin to make our posts so let's just say hello world and what we can do is we can preview this, but I'm assuming this is going to be fantastic. So what I'll do is go publish and I can see it live now. And now what we can do is come back to posts. We can see the post here, view site, and look, my new hello world post is alive. <laughs> now coming back into the post, there's a cool little thing. So at the top here, you got the settings and here we could add like a post image. So I just found a random thumbnail I had it on hand. So let's say we wanted to, we wrote a post about getting started with Google cloud or something. Um, we could put some tags or an excerpt so um and we can then click away and then hit update and publish come back to post view the site and just like that we have a beautiful post ready so that's how easy ghost is to use right and again this stuff is pretty self-explanatory any work in progress posts you have scheduled posts that you have uh pending to be uploaded and we can view our published posts so pages now what are pages so now if we just go back to our proper website you can see up here these are kind of like the navigation pages so let's click on about this is not a post this is an actual dedicated page where you can have stuff as well so here you can see you know you can check in all this content in a, in a page as well that you want you know videos or whatever make it on my website you know here's some posts and if you want to see my youtube channels on my website this whole page could be dedicated to youtube channels i mean youtube video sorry so if we come back and edit this 
and come in the pages go into about the site that's where we were before and here this is where you can edit stuff add things in you know uh, add links add snippets there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can add right um, and you can yeah make changes just like that so just to prove to you that you can make changes here let's delete all of this and just go oh right update update Come back to pages, let's view our site, go to the about, there it is, our change. Again, that's how easy it is to make changes. Now again, notice when I changes, uh, when I change pages and posts and stuff like that, this here is the URL. So when we created the Docker container, you know, our home page could be something like it. You know, if you just set, if you didn't really change or set a URL, it could work on the first front page, but as soon as you start clicking on URLs, if you didn't define your url correctly when you're creating your docker container this can break so that's why you need to specify the url that you will be accessing ghost via so that's so when you change pages and stuff that this stays solid and it redirects correctly but that's that's pretty much it but let's just have a look at just quickly customizing uh your website so if we scroll down here we can see themes so let's just change our theme uh let's say i don't know whatever this one is uh the newsletter let's install this one yep looks good let me install it bam we just installed a new theme let's hit activate and now we can see that addition is now our active page now let's have a look at what our website looks like wow just like that whole different website huh look at this and that's how easy it was to change the theme now if we come back to the uh, admin panel and we go back to that uh theme so click on theme what you can actually do is you can actually download these themes and when you download these themes you can actually make changes to them since everything's all open source uh you can make changes upload uh your theme um if you're quite good with you know web design i'm terrible at it so i just use themes that already exist um and yeah you can upload them and make changes so again if there's more theme there are more themes that you can look at so if we went view more this is the ghost marketplace this isn't hosted on your website this is hosted on the actual ghost one and let's say there was something that you liked there's also integrations look at this so if we go into youtube it tells you how you can you know integrate youtube um into your ghost page and everything like that so if you're curious on how to integrate things that's how you do it but to stop me from getting sidetracked um say if there's a specific theme some have costs on them because again web design ain't cheap but there's definitely themes that are free so if we clicked on browse all themes you can click on free and here you go you can see all the uh, themes that are free but that is essentially how to set up ghost uh using docker really easy a single command but the main thing is just let me give you some takeaway uh steps that everything is stored remember okay everything is stored within that blog folder so let me clear this change directory go into blog and let's do an ls on here this is where your website and all its data is stored okay so the best thing i can recommend is to back up that blog folder or even the entire ghost folder zip that up tarball it whatever put it somewhere safe and make that a regular backup cycle and then if you ever lost your docker container or the server whatever it was running on died it doesn't matter because you have a backup you link your docker container back to this url where the the blog folder bam it knows it's got the database it's got all the users it's got all your posts everything are there and your website is now backed up uh it's all backed up and up and running so yeah just make sure that you back up the ghost blog folder directory and that's essentially it um again with that docker command let's say if i was running this on in production on a proper domain i would go ahead and change this and then let's say it was running on uh it was ssl secured and everything i would change this to the true ip that it's running on so that would be that and then i'd say this would be techdocs.nz and then that's how i would have to access my website but yeah just some little key t takeaways uh thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned something about an alternative to wordpress uh and i'll see you in the next video cheers bye